Hello friends from R2 International Magazine. We are here at a solo exhibition with our artist Lawrence R. Armstrong, Larry Armstrong. And we are really excited to present him and present this exhibition. Um, it's, uh, it's been inspiring us for a while, seeing his work and our collective exhibitions. And we finally had a great opportunity to present his work in a solo exhibition in uh, Mostra Personale, like we call it in Italy. And we are excited with the feedback. And I'm going to have Larry introduce himself and tell us a little bit about himself and his work. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Viviana. I really appreciate it. And I love working with you. And I'm very happy to be here with this exhibition. So uh, I, I'm an architect. I run a big architectural firm in the United States. We have 15 offices. And so on the weekends, I spend my time uh, being creative. And so my work is based on layers in the environment. Uh, the whole, all of my work, as you see, uh, manifests in different ways, but all based on layers. And that's what touches the most is the, um, let's say, the contrast between the structured and the disorder, per se, the, 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 what, looks, what looks spontaneous, but at the same time so carefully planned. So what inspires you and what is the process? What is your creative process? Okay. So I notice layers in the natural world and in the built environment. I notice uh, physical layers um, and I notice uh, events that happen in a very planned way and a very disorderly way. Uh, I listen to layers uh, in the atmosphere of sounds, music that is very orderly and other sounds that are random and uh, atmosphere and different moods of different people in a, that might fill a room. And so my work is a, an expression of the very orderly versus the very chaotic and unplanned, planned and unplanned orderly and chaotic. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your personal life. How do you juggle everything? Because you're the CEO of a big firm and you have to travel and you have so much in your hands. So I love uh, everything that I do and I think that's a very important part of anyone's life. You have to love what you do. So I love being an architect. I love running my company and helping um, my clients and uh, our people grow. And so that, that really inspires me. So on the weekends and on when I have downtime, I'm inspired. Uh, and then I go to my studio and I create this work based on those inspirations. Um, so for me, it's an outlet and it's a way to continue to be creative and to contribute. Uh, and so I really I love doing it. And I think that's important. You have to love what you do. Yes, that's true. And when you were a child, tell us about your beginnings. What came first, architecture or art? Well, they're very together. <laughs> they, they're, very to they're very together, and they've always been very together oh. in my life. When I was, uh, when I was a child, I, I, I've always done a, a lot of art, and I've always been encouraged to do art. Uh, however, I've always been inspired by architecture, and I, um, at a very young age, uh, would climb all over project sites and uh, in, uh, investigate construction sites and architecture being built. And so I'd always been very interested in that. Um, I took an aptitude test at one point uh, before I went to college, and the, it said I should either be an architect or I should be a sculptor. Oh, wow. And so. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing both. Great thing. What inspires you about Florence? How has it stayed here? Uh, how have you been? So um, I love Florence. It's probably my favorite city in the world. I studied here in 1979 uh, in my fourth year of architecture studies at Kent State. And so this city, I've gotten to know it very, very well. Um, and it's, uh, it's always great to come back here because it does inspire me. The architecture inspires me. And of course, the art inspires me. And the Renaissance inspires me. So it's great to be here. Fantastic. And I'm sure your family is really proud of you, your, your children, your wife. Uh, she's by your side. And I think they look up to you. And a lot of youth is very attracted to your art. 
So, because I know there's going to be a lot of youth looking and, and watching um, this interview and also visiting here, and they'll be able to, to watch the interview online. What message do you have for the next generation? Well, first of all, my family has been very supportive. Uh, my wife always, Sandy, has always been very, very supportive, and my son, James, and my daughter, Lauren, are uh, very supportive and, and awesome in their own right. Um, but my message to young people is, uh, as I said, you really need to find what and do in your life what you love and then work very, very hard. And then I think I, I've also always say you have to take risks in your life. And I think that if those, for me, those combination of things uh, is the message I would like to pass on. Work hard, do what you love, and take risks. Larry, I want you to tell us your website for those who want to go and visit and see more of your works. Okay. My website is www.laraart.com. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for giving us the honor, the opportunity of showing your, your works and representing you. Really, it's an honor for us. And we love your work. We admire you as an artist, as a human being. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to working with you a lot more. Yes, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Ciao.